G'day, I'm Michael Guest. Welcome to Valvoline Tech Talks. G'day, welcome to Valvoline Tech Talks. And today we're going to talk about two-stroke oil and how to use Valvoline's chamber pack. Firstly, let's have a bit of a look and see uh, what we're going to need. So we're going to need to check the lube guide to work out our mixing ratio for the engine that I want to mix this for. We're going to need some unleaded petrol, we've got that. We've got our fuel container that connects up to the outboard engine. And of course the main thing, we've got our two-stroke outboard oil right there. Now the chamber pack's a great idea. What it does, it helps dispense the correct amount of oil required to obtain uh, the perfect mixing ratio depending on uh, the manufacturer's guidance. So the measurement displayed on the back, so that's around the back here, uh, allows you to accurately dispense the exact amount of oil and it's got little increments on the back there, goes right up to 100 mil. That's really important that you get, uh, get your mixing ratios right. If you put too much oil in, you can generate carbon buildup, making it difficult to start the engine, blow excessive smoke, uh, which is particularly bad for the environment and may, with time, cause the engine to stop operating correctly. But if you add too little oil, um, and with time, uh, you're not lubricating those moving parts properly, so you'll cause more engine wear, friction, um, possibly have the engine overheat, and then permanently damage it as well. So the whole idea, and this is where the chamber pack really does help, is to get that mixing ratio exactly right, depending on the make and model of your engine. Best way to do that is check out the Valvoline Lube Guide. Okay, so let's use the chamber pack. So just crack the lid open there. Now if we give it a squeeze, you'll see it's starting to fill up. This is so easy to use, no mess. We want to go right to that 100 mil because I need 200 mils and we're just about there now. That's it there, perfect. So I've got 10 litres of fuel in here. So you could be at a local service station. It's always good to put the oil in first and then as you pour the fuel in, it just helps really mix that oil and fuel together. So um, if not, if you've already got plain unleaded fuel in there, make sure you give it a good mix around just to stir it up. So that's our first lot. So we just simply pour that in like so. And that's the great thing with the chamber pack, no mess. And I'm getting that perfect amount every time. So then we'll go one more. So we just need to get another 100 mils up to that 100 mil line. That's it there. So there are the increments along there, it's 100 mil. So that's giving me 200 mils at a perfect measurement. Make sure you put that lid back on. And it pays to, they're only a nice slim bottle, it pays to keep it you know, out and about with you in your boat or in the back of your your ute or your four-wheel drive so you've got it with you so when you pull up at the service station it's always there nice and handy pretty easy here so i've got my fuel drum i'm pretty sure i know this one's unleaded because it's got it's written right across it there <laughs> but uh, screw that on put our 10 litres of fuel in which will do i said otherwise you can just mark off 10 litres pretty simple at the service station pick that 10 litres up and away we go and pour that in that's going in there now Keep going and get those that whole 10 litres in there. I'll just pop that down there. That's our 10 litres. Make sure you put that lid back on. And let's pick that up, give that a good shake around. And that's mixed and ready to go. Other thing too, don't forget to open your breather when, once you hook it up to your um to your outboard engine. This is going on a 25 tiller steer. Pump that up, get your pressure. Make sure you keep that breather cracked open, otherwise you'll find the engine will starve. When you're finished for the day, disconnect it and close that to make sure that fuel stays uh, doesn't go stale and stays nice and fresh. There you go. Easy as that. So the chamber pack certainly makes mixing fuel nice and easy. I've got no oil on my hands. I've got the perfect measurements and I know that I've got the perfect ratio of fuel to oil mixed as per the manufacturer's recommendations. I'll catch you next time.